Hi guys, Harry Sunday here, letting you know that there's a apparel company that supports the game that you love. It's called There Is Only One Football.com, guys. They've got all sorts of stuff from caps, t shirts, water bottles, all sorts of accessories, even for your mobile phone. All that sporting stuff you can wear anywhere you want to wear it, guys. That's right. And don't forget the website it's on There Is Only One Football.com. We are losing it tonight, Frothy. We've we lost are. it tonight. Yes, oh, are. it's party time tonight uh, here. Now, believe me. I believe we have a uh, Mr. Bazinkas. Yes. Now, I take it that would be Greek, Harry. Yes, he is Greek, with my friend. With a name like Bazookas or Bazookas? Bazookas, my friend. What are well, you going, where are you going with I this, mate? I prefer the Bazookas. Uh, but um, now, I, I've got to ask, uh, is, it, is it George or Andy? I'm going to say right now, Andy, welcome to Football yes, Welcome, yes, Andy. Uh, yep, welcome, everybody. Thank you, Harry. Thank you, Carlos. And Carlos, welcome uh, tonight too. Hey, Carlos. Thank you, Harry and Frothy, it was always a pleasure to be with you. That's right. Sharing well, yeah, and yeah. Spraying, the, spraying the gospel of football. Yes, si, si, yes. Si, si, Senor. Vaya, vaya con uh, Dios. Vaya con Dios. Uh, you know what that means, huh? Right. Yes, that could mean anything <laughs> well, we've in got my language. Yeah, absolutely. Fantastic. Uh, Frothy, you got something to say to the boys? Uh, well, Andy, uh, welcome to the uh, the Football List Show, as Harry likes to call it. Yes. And um, so we Before open... You, uh, uh, I forgot this one for Sorry Andy. About that. Oh, oh, Alexandros. Yes, oh, yes. Oh, that's the one. That's right. Well, now, hold on. Uh, before we start, now, Andy, did you have a brother by the name of George that was also in Northcote City? George, uh, Bazikas is uh, IS, mine is AS, ah. no relation. Oh, well, I'll tell you what, because I was going to start, I was going to say what a good player your brother was, and he is also my coach, under 15s, 1980, Northcote City. Unbelievable. But nevertheless, yeah. nevertheless, welcome, welcome, welcome. And Thank Harry's you. got a million questions for you tonight. I'm going to start no with doubt. Andy. Andy, oh, now, Andy, we're going to start here right now. So, well, Fitz, let's get it going. The, the, word, the name Fitzroy United is the real name. 
not yeah. Heidelberg United. Is that right? Well, that's correct. That, that's exactly right. Yeah, we were based in Fitzroy. Yes, and uh, and that's where it should still be Fitzroy. But just for that, yeah. just for that council, they said that council they they changed their name to Heidelberg because of the council. That's what I was told. Ooh, well, but anyway, well, well, I think we moved to Heidelberg. That that was the other region as well. That was the thing. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm just going to start at the beginning here. Where did you start your career? Now, you had must have had a junior club before you went and played senior somewhere else. Of course. As a, as a, as a 10-year-old, I started my career at South Melbourne Hellas. Oh, my God. Now, we don't know that team. <laughs> oh, Sorry. my God, uh, Andy. Is that, is that the team here, is it, Harry? North Mel- we call them North Melbourne now. There's a reason for that. But anyway, yes, we'll tell yes, you about Andy. that later. At uh, uh, secretive times, we'll tell you about that. Now, at South Melbourne as a junior, where did you start there? Yes, what, yes. At 10 years of age. Uh, under 10s, under 12s, under 14s. Yes. And at the age of 15, I, I, I played a season in the reserves. Yeah, under 15s, my and God. And at 16, I made my debut in the seniors. The seniors. So you would know people like, uh, Ooh, oh, yes. gee, I could mention names here right now. You're talking about Peter Mike, Lormans. Mike Pye. Uh, and Luke Cigaris. About, uh, uh, all these guys. Mike, Mike Pye. And Peter, Peter Bourne. Yes, he yes. Peter, read my mind. Did you see that? Georgie, Georgie Campbell, of Georgie course. Campbell. Georgie Campbell. Yes, yes. we've had Georgie on the show. And Howard still, Andrews. Still, still, and Bertie Lutton. Work. And Jimmy Shearer. And, uh, and the list goes on. And now, who did you. What, 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 what were you just saying about Georgie? I, I work with him. We do a bit of work down at the Xavier College together. Fantastic. Ooh. So you, you, yeah. fanatic, fantastic teammates still connected with the game and doing stuff at yes. Xavier College. Now, now also, now, when you when you finished it, what age did you finish at South Melbourne? Uh, age 17. Yes. And uh, and my good mate, uh, I'll tell you the story how I ended yes, up please. in Fitzroy. Yes, Absolutely. please. Absolutely. My mate uh, Ulysses Kokinos was at uh, Fitzroy at that time. Yeah, that year, yes. Oh, gee. That, that year, and, 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 and South Melbourne wanted him and Fitzroy wanted me, and it was a, a swap. Jesus, so you, you were sacrificed. Is that what we would yeah. have to say? Well, um, I, I think at that time uh, he, he was a big superstar. I, I yes. wasn't well known at all, and, uh, and, and South Melbourne actually wanted him. Uh, to go back there because back. he was a South Moy be- before then as well. So exactly. So um, I wasn't well known until you know, and then he went there, and then I went to Fitzroy, and that's. And I think, uh, I think that was I was lucky to go there because as, as it's you know as it spanned out, I had a good ten years down at Fitzroy. Fantastic. Now, Frothy, you got something for Andy? Well, at, at Fitzroy, you would have been involved with. Uh, do you remember a young fella by the name? Uh, I, I would. I'm taking a guess here. He'd be probably 15 years younger than you. He was actually a goalkeeper at Northcote High School and a very good one, along with myself. Do you know who I'm talking about, uh, 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 George? Isn't it Andy? No, it's Andy. Sorry, George. Uh, uh, Andy. Do you know who I'm talking about? No. Sorry. Chris, <laughs> yes, yes, Chris Katsakides. He was he wasn't a goalkeeper. Yes, we went to Northgate High School together down in St George's Road. He, he was a left he was a left back. Yes, he was a left back, but he started off as a keeper at school. And oh right, right. Yes, right. and um, well, yeah. I, 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 I don't know him as a keeper, but I do know him as yes. a left and a great player. I tell you what, uh, the thing is with uh, Chris Katsakidis, he was a year younger than me, so I'd say he's thirty two at the moment. Uh, right. Now, uh, well, about 32. Now, the thing is, if he had continued, and this is my guess, well, Chris might be watching Harry. He could Maybe be. Maybe he can uh, message us and, 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 and give us the answer to this. I believe if Chris Katsakidis stuck to goalkeeping, he would have been, now here's a quote for you, Harry, yes. he would have been bigger than Jeff Olver, mate. Could have been, actually. Now, been. I know him well at school, and I'll tell you what, I think there was one year he let one goal go past, and it's all the lunch times, yes, of yes. course, uh, but still mighty effort. I get what you're saying. Is, is you still with us? Of course, Andy. You're there, Andy. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm, I'm yes, still here. Uh, well, there you go. You just learned something now. Uh, uh, but the thing is, uh, you were there when Peter Blasby was there, I, I take it. Oh, top Peter Blasby. Uh, Peter, uh, we had some great keepers down at, uh, at Fitzroy. Peter yes. Blasby was there. Um, Jeff Olver, of course, and uh, Banovich. Well, oh, yeah. out of the three, yeah, yeah, Banovich, my God, well, man. out of the three, uh, I'll give you my answer. Out of the three, yes, some had different careers in England, and uh, one represented the Socceroos yeah. more. For me, as a youngster, going to Olympic Park and Middle Park, 
I just like to say this. I think Jakubanovic was the better keeper, slightly he better than the other two. He played in the first division in England. What do you think? I, I think uh, I, I I can't really comment on who was better, well, why but not? I think uh, I think I think Jeff Jeff Volvo worked the hardest. Mm, that's right. I think uh, I I think witnessing him diving in the mud and being covered from oh from head to toe <laughs> in the mud. It's very funny. It, it, he actually, actually worked the hardest out, out of the three. And that's why he prolonged his career and had so many goals for Australia as well. And, uh, one, one thing I'll tell you is before we Carlos, this is by bringing, I've been trying to call Jeff Alba to get him on the show. He never answers me. So I'll fix him up next we week. We will get him on our And now, Carlos, you've got some, some information of answer, questions He's and answers and everything for, um, for, us, for Andy. Say that again, sorry. We've got Carlos to ask you some questions. We've got Roberto Carlos. The great yes, right. Yes, I wish. I wish. <laughs> well, I let's just say you are picks. tonight, uh, Roberto. Well, thank you. I wish I could take this bendy free kicks a la Roberto Carlos again. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And I, I'm still practicing how to do it. But uh-huh. um, anyway, Andy, I just want to ask you a question. The all in itself, when national being the first sport to go national, the excitement was there, the crowds were there, TV. And then he fell apart over the years. What? Yes. Where did the Where did the NSL go wrong? I have my views, but as a player who enjoyed the heyday, the crowds, the passion, and then later on, twenty years later, thirty years later, he just fell apart. Where did the all NSL go wrong, Andy? Well, I I, I think Australia took a big risk. Uh, because it was the first national league competition in this country, um, but it was a new adventure. It was exciting, and it was actually a pleasure to be part of. Um, where we had we had guest players, um, like for instance, I played against Charlie George Ooh, and, uh, and, and 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 Graham Saunders. Oh, yeah. And I think, and I think that 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 excited the crowds, bringing in uh, top class players. And over the years, um, I think it was just, I don't know, we just didn't, it just didn't seem to excite the the crowds. Um, uh, they stopped bringing this. Uh, I, I think that's where how they got excited by bringing these top players, and that stopped. Mm-hmm. Um, and. Uh, I don't. I don't know. I, I really don't know where it's gone. I. I, I wouldn't say it, it. It went wrong. I'd just say it just faded away, and uh, maybe the A League took over, and and maybe they brought in you know the the Brazilians and a few other mm-hmm. guest players, and they probably picked up again. And I think I think the A League to has actually worked. Uh, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we've got the crowds, we've got the grounds, we've got the players. Man. Yeah. Well, now, can I can I just butt in there? Just um, butt in for a sec, Andy. Uh, uh, it's funny. Um, I've got some notes here now. Have a listen to this, um, uh, Carlos, as well, and yourself, Harry. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Now, round one, NSL two thousand three. Yes. Now, tell me this wasn't supposed to happen. Uh, now, listen to the crowd attendance here. You know, I chased this up. <laughs> Uh, sorry about oh, that, that bloody idiots back again. We've got that, a horse that crow the that flies that, over the studio. Yeah, unbelievable, that moron. Now, uh, Harry pays him well. Why don't you book him for oh, a Saturday night? Fix him up, mate. Here. He's unbelievable. Uh, okay, well, here we go. Now, listen to this, guys. Uh, Wolves, Sydney United, 2,345 people. Gee. Parramatta versus South Melbourne, 1,800. Football Kings, Newcastle, 2,304. Gee. Knights, Marconi, 2,200. Spirit Strikers, 2,900. And just one more, Olympic Adelaide... United, 2,370. Now, yes. yes, we have seen the great crowds at the NSL. Oh, boy. And also the A-League. Uh, the A-League at the minute, we all know. Uh, well, Carlos knows this, and so do you, Harry. Obviously, through oh, COVID, God. the crowds were going to sort of get lower and lower. Oh. Uh, but, um, look, the thing is, um, it's just the history of this game here. Whether they call it NSL, A-League, B-League, or... LGBTQI League. Oh boy. Uh, the numbers are always going to go up. They're going to go down. Um, but I don't think anyone has an answer for it. How we get the more bums on seats? But then again, the A League changed their logo, and maybe and they, they're oh, thinking if we got change a few that, change about that too. Uh, now, Carlos, I believe you're going to fight them in court over that. I heard. Oh no. 
<laughs> no, well, that's no. the uh, us we discussed last week. We did. Yes, we did. The, yes, the logo that the A Lee has is above board because that the Adelaide based company that yes. has a yes, similar logo yep. has forgotten to register that logo with IPA. So, mm. therefore, if it looks similar, and it does look similar, it, does. it looks exactly the same. But your original <laughs> design hasn't been re- registered as a trademark. But what it has done, obviously, it has people talking, and that's what we want. Exactly. We want people wow. to talk. Where you hate the logo, you love the logo, it has you talking, Frothy and Harry. So that's that yes. itself. It's a win-win for everyone. That's right. Because now, it's, ra- wow. it's raising the awareness yes. of the A-League because indirectly... 50% of the population hates it and the other 50% like it. Exactly. So we're all engaging between the yes camp and the no camp. Yes, exactly. Now, That's a fair what do I have That's here, Andy? Comment. Andy, I'm going to get you to close your eyes, please. Oh, now can I close I'm going to take you back to 1977, Andy. Well, it's around. Yes. Wasn't that that really week, game? that week, the yes. first week of the Phillips League game okay. at Olympic Park. Yes. My coach said to me at the time from Essendon Lions, Essendon he Lions. said to me, Harry and everyone here, you guys, young boys, young kids, yes. we're going to be circling around Olympic Park in 1977, the first game of the Phillips League between. Yes. But you know which game that was. You must have played that game. And Ulysses Kokonos was playing for, guess who? South Melbourne. Fitzroy United. That was his Fitzroy. only year. Yeah, yeah, sorry, yes, yeah, Fitzroy. Was it was it Adelaide Hellas? No, 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 no. It was it was South Melbourne. South Melbourne versus and we oh, were, right. and you would have played that day. You would have played. And the thing is, every junior team in the whole of Melbourne was circling around uh, Olympic Park before the game. You should have seen the kids, all of us there walking around in our in our co- in our in our team shirts and everything. It was unbelievable. That was an amazing game and you guys were there. Playing, and I was here as a young boy, as a 16 year old, walking around. That's amazing, Andy, that day. The whole of Olympic Park was packed. Absolutely right, packed, yeah. if you remember that game. Yeah. Packed. Yes. And now, yeah. and Andy now, and now, handy on the day. and that day was the beginning of the Phillips Soccer League. How's that? You remember the first game? You must remember that first game. You yes, must. Yes, yes, yes. Of course he does. Well, uh,. Yeah, uh, so, uh, what, well, how long is that, 40 years? What? At least 40 years, that's right, yeah, yeah ex- at least. Yeah. And, uh, and of course, South I, Melbourne. I remember, I do remember all the, the, do you remember the, the, the South game? Melbourne games. Yeah, of course you would. They were there. You they can't were forget the, those ones. You can't, you can't forget those games. They games. were the big derbies at the time, big derbies, yeah. uh, and that was the thing. So, And now the first and year. I must admit, and I must admit, we always had the edge on them. <laughs> <laughs> South well, Melbourne now, or which one? Which one was it? Which now, one? Detroit. Always, well, always. Now, hold on. I was present at the game when it was 5-2 and George Campbell ran around five of your defenders, Andy. Uh, now, can you explain that? Do you remember the 5-2 drubbing? You had Macmillan there who was trying to break everyone's well, leg well, along with Jimmy Tansy. You're talking about bloody uh, WWF uh, wrestling. And, and um, <laughs> I tell you what. Now, tell me something, Andy. Is there a team you follow in the A-League at the moment? Do you follow anyone? No, sorry. Good. I don't. Oh, that's good. Good. Cool. good. Well, that is good, now, Harry, because before what I, I'll be doing. Before I bring uh, Carlos the, back on the set, just hang yes. on for a sec. Now, now, Andy, the first yeah. year, let's go back to the Phillips League, the first let's year. Let's go back in time. You guys used to get flown to Sydney, Brisbane, yes. playing the Brisbane Lions. You played St. George. Tell me, At, we, the hardest, we, we, let, let's not talk about S, uh, South Mel, SMH, whatever, okay? Yes, yes. Now, let me just Never say. The, the, the game the games that you played interstate the hardest game at that time the first year who really gave it to you uh, Fitzroy United that year the Brisbane City well, which one you, you can't go past uh, two sides and they were Sydney sides Ooh. they were Sydney Sydney City yes I know who they are yes yeah and, and, and Marconi Harkawa and Marconi that's yes, right that's, that's right yep. now yeah. they had massive stars didn't they Socceroos and everything in those teams at that time believe me yeah yeah Carlos um Yes, Andy, you, you have some amazing coaches throughout your career. Yes. Who was, which coach had the biggest impact in the making of Andy Vasekas as the player you were? I, I had three main coaches. I had Manny Pulakakis, oh. John, Margar- John Margaritis, 
and uh, Lenny McKendry. Oh, gee. And and I think I had Lenny most of the time, and he actually I, I actually learnt a lot from Lenny McKendry. So what did he teach you, or how did he make you a better player? Well, he 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 taught me when to pass the ball, and when to dribble. Okay, so at training he got two defenders, and if two came at me, I had to pass the ball back. If one came at me, I had to go past him. Mm. So, so in that situation, I think he taught me quite a few. I went to look up, I went to play the ball, went to go past the player. So he gave me the freedom um, in 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 the in the match situation. Amazing. So I was pretty happy with that. Yeah, I have he didn't, some. He, he, didn't, he didn't neglect my game. But have, he actually enhan- enhanced it. I have a friend of yours watching right now, uh, Andy. Who's that? Uh, Alan Evans. Edward, Edward Kenneth Taylor. Ooh, King Kenny's watching you right now. King was he Kenny. one of your teammates, of course? Is that right? The, the King. The yes. King Kenny. What was, wow. he, what was he like on the field? Was he, was he courageous? Was he, was was he, he a drunk? fighter? Was, was he, he a sober? lover? What, what was, was he? he? Was he good or what? He had a few. He was a Scotsman. He, he was, uh, worked very hard in the middle of the park. Won the ball, played it easy, uh, and to, to, played it easy to 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 the two front runners. Yes, and uh, and got us all involved by actually doing all the hard graft in the middle of the park. Amazing. Now I've got a story. I've got a story for you. You, you we br- sort of like a week ago we yes. sort of briefly spoke about something about New York Cosmos. Now this is a lot of people don't know about this. Now you played against New York Cosmos. Is that right? Mm. Olympic Park, 1972. Jesus, and that's before, yeah. even before the Phillips League. So now, was that you played for Victoria or was it Australia? Uh, yeah, it was. It was Victoria. And what were they? Uh, and now, there's a story you want to tell us about that. Something to do with a a round kind of was it a ball or something? You want to say about that? Well, uh, well, uh, Santos. Um, all the players were in the dressing rooms, and yes. then we brought the match ball out. Yep. And uh, they had a look at the match ball. They said to us, we can't play with this ball. It's not round. And they brought one of their balls and it was perfect. And we had to play with their ball. So basically what you're saying is well, Australian, made, balls. Australian made balls are crap. And the overseas balls are better than, than balls here. Well, what balls well, are we talking weird. about, Harry? That was, that was back in 72. Jesus, unbelievable. And you represented Victoria, which is amazing. Yeah. And, uh, and we had 33,000 people there as Gee, well. That, that is massive. Carlos, you got something for uh, Andy again? Yeah. <clears throat> so um, what advice can you give a young player who wants to forge a career in football these days, Andy? The advice I will give them is to love the game. They've actually got to love the game of football or soccer. Oh, he said and, soccer. Oh, and 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 I know, and I know they do, and I know a lot of them what do, most of them do, and, and then they've got to actually put that into practice. They've actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna give a little bit example of of myself. Whenever I went home from school, three o'clock, against the wall, from three o'clock to seven o'clock, it was against the wall. Gee. And then when it got dark, I got back inside. And I played with the balloon inside the house. My God, that's. Sounds... And I'm thinking to myself, how come I made it? And, and I'm not, I then I'm looking. To myself, that, what a uh, that, that sounds world. like uh, Don Bradman, the same sort of stuff he used to do, Andy. You know, yeah, the ball, the ball against the wall. Now, right now, we've got right now. You've got no idea, Andy and Carlos and Frothy here. What's happening? We have that many, that many um, Fitzroy United players. I'm going to mention their names here. They're right here, right now. Jimmy Rooney. Uh, and actually, Peter Blasby says he was an all right player. He says, "How's that?" <laughs> You want to say hello to him there, Andy? Well, yeah, he <laughs> there, was. There, is he? He's online now. He's yes. actually watching the show, and I can see he him mentioning right. a few things <laughs> on the screen. Say something to him if you want. I, I Peter, I bump into you sometimes, and it's fantastic that you're still uh, putting a bit of work back into the game. Well done, Pete. Fantastic. Now, uh, what I will ask you is, Andy, uh, Carl, um, what's his name? Not Carlos. It was uh, Branko, Brank, Branko Kalina made a few points when I put a picture yes. up of you on uh a few days ago that you were coming on the show, he says uh, that you're actually coaching. You were coaching as well. Is that right? Yeah, I was coaching. Yes, that's that's correct. And Blasby says I, to I, you, I coach. I coach Bulleen. Okay. Uh, 
for about four years. And Blasby says here, thanks to you. There you go. He says thanks yeah, to you. Yeah, now, absolutely. what was it like transitioning from a player to a coach? Did you play there? Did you play? I never, I never thought about coaching at all. Yep, uh, Harry. Until until uh, I got an injury. Yes. At well, I was at Bullen at the time. Yep. I finished my career at Bullen. Mm-hmm. I never thought about coaching. No. I, I I injured my knee. And I thought, that's it. That's it for me. And then the coach at the time said, why don't you stay on and just assist me? I said, okay, that's fine. I'll do that. And uh-huh. I assisted for half a season. He left the following season. Yes. And they actually believed in what I was doing. Mm-hmm. And I got, I was kept on. Yes. And my first season, I finished equal first Jeez. at ball end with uh, Juventus, but they oh. beat us on goal difference. Gee. And then in '93, I won the championship with them. So Fantastic. it just it just happened. It just happened that like I, you know, I I I took it up so early without even coaching a junior side, without even coaching a reserve side. I just fell into the seniors just like that. That's fantastic. That's an achievement, Andy. You, you, yeah. I mean, you go into coaching without even kind some kind of course or something, and bang, you've won a championship. That's that's yeah. a massive achievement, Frothy. Uh, now, Andy, I uh, know you're a happy man. You're excited tonight to be on the show here. You're sharing all yeah. the good stories from the past with um, uh, the blue and white team, which we are not allowed to mention that name for Please. particular reasons, uh, and Fitzroy United. But I'm going to make you happier. Now, you gave me every reason to believe that I can make you happier since you're not a uh, a follower or a barricade. Is that the, is that the word? A supporter. Uh, or, or a supporter of the A-League. I am prepared to send you a Brisbane Raw membership. Oh, now, no. what do you think about that, Andy? I feel like... A Brisbane Raw membership. I'd love that. Well, there there you go. Go. No, I can't believe it. There you go. I will be... Uh, I'll get your details. We'll, we'll... Now, 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 can I get to Brisbane? <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> well, yeah. look... Uh, VIP, look, VIP status at this, yeah. Now, now, hold on, fellas. Uh, we can organise that because Carlos has a helicopter. Carlos has got a, a, a bit of brass. Uh, well, he's a lawyer. I mean, all lawyers. Are, we don't get a poor lawyer. Uh, so, Carlos can organise the matches up to Brisbane. Now... <laughs> Oh, Carlos, he, well, Carlos did tell us he's got a helicopter. Didn't he? <laughs> now, uh, yes, I do actually. He's, uh, there you go. He's, uh, he's a new uh, Tesla drone. Fantastic, electric, well, electric, there you go. electric, there fantastic. You go. Maybe electric. you can put us all in there. We'll all go and watch the game together. Oh, Carlos, have you got yes, some right. more? Some more for Andy. Sorry. Some more for Andy. You got some more info, uh, questions? Yes, when you when you were coaching, who did you? Uh, shape your coaching philosophy you, you mentioned three great coaches mckendry margaritis and the other person i forgot yes. the greek sounding name well, so who were Lynn McKendry. The, so andy basica so coaches that a mixture of three or you borrow the best of everyone and you put your own stamp on your Perfect. coaching it, it, it was a mixture of three but then actually i saw a lot of things in how to improve a player and i saw what best position to put a player in what's his mm. best position and how they can perform better in their right four positions now i'll give you a little example yes i had damien Murray come to me gee and, and he goes to me uh i'm a fullback yes. and so the first game the first game i played in fullback yes we're and uh, and and he had more shots at goal from fullback than my forwards. Oh my God! So so I said, "You're not a fullback. You're a striker." And that's how he became a striker after that. So yeah. as a coach, are you able to see a player and put him in their rightful positions so so the team can click together as a team? Jesus, it's, um, it's a, that, that, that is amazing. And he, yeah. was he was he a junior? Was he a junior at the time? Of course he was. He, he was he was eighteen at the time. Yes, yes gee, unbelievable. And he played seniors. My God. Yes. And we know yes, where, and we and we know where he ended up. Jesus, one of the biggest uh, scorers of goals in yeah. the in the NSL at the time too. Yeah. That's right. The quickest the goal, goal, in, goal, I believe. Two point eight six four three he did. seconds. He did too, Carlos. I remember that very well. Now, Andy, uh, we're going to do a uh, thirty second shot clock here. Uh, you better mate, do it quick. And, uh, we got some questions here, so we need quick answers because you've got thirty seconds to answer it. My good friend here, Harry's got yes, a stopwatch. Press the button. So this is where I'm going to give you all the – what you need to know is here. I want the, the, as quick as possible the answers, and if you get it done in 30 seconds, uh, the Brisbane Raw membership is coming your way. Oh, now, no. Harry, do not <laughs> cheat with a clock, please. Bing. Now, uh, it started. Okay, here we go. Dogs or cats? 
dogs. A favourite movie? The Sting. Uh, the Sting? Yeah, I'm sorry, top film. Sorry, time. Let's stop the clock, sorry. Uh, no, 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 I mean, of course, they, uh, Paul sting? Newman and uh, Robert Redford. Yes. Oh, that's it? it? Yes. Oh, well, no, I'm born then. God, I'm only 35. All right, start the clock. <laughs> there you go. Uh, hardest opponent? Sorry, I missed that. Hardest opponent? Hardest opponent? Kyle Curran, Newcastle United. Absolutely, mm. yes. How do you like your steak? I don't. Oh, well, fair enough. Vegetarian. I don't. Know. I haven't had a steak for twenty years. Jeez. Oh well, that's yeah. a good thing. You obviously you're, you're you're at your player weight. I take it. Uh, yes. It's just like yeah, Harry exactly. and myself. Yes. yes, yes. yes. Fair enough. Uh, coffee or tea? Coffee. A uh, best soccer player of all time. I I, I can't go past I can't go past Maradona. Uh, fair enough. Oh, Twitter or Instagram? Uh, Instagram. Uh, vanilla or chocolate? Vanilla. Uh, corona, real or not real, and not the beer. Real. Yep. Uh, now, were you one of the disco boys or a rock and roll boy back in your uh, I was a disco boy. There you go. There you now, go. Harry, how did we go with the clock? We just finished. Exactly. Well, sorry, Andy. You went to 31 seconds. But uh, <laughs> next week when we get you back on the show, I'll, 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 what I'll, I'll write up some different questions for him. And yes, of course. Now, stop clock. I've got a couple of more before we finish, Andy. Now, Absolutely. I want to ask you, you guys have a lot of... Um, 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 reunions, Fitzroy United reunions. That's fantastic yes. to keep the boys together. You do that every year. I know, I know we've been bothered by this COVID and we've had, had things happen, but all the time at um, at Fitzroy or Heidelberg, you want to call them, you always have these reunions. Is that right? Well, last year we had one at the Melissa, so yes, we do. Of course, George George Katsakis, the coach now yeah. of uh, Heidelberg United as well. Hopefully, exactly. so. So this happens every year. Does it? Does it end up? It ends up at the club as well. Is that right? You do something at That's the club. That's right. Yes. And you're yes. still involved at the club. Yeah. I've, I saw your picture there on Facebook, and I said, "Geez, you're still wearing a Hotel Big United cap there." You, yes. you must get down to the games at least. You must. Yes. Yes. I, I'm still there, and I'm still loving it. Uh, a couple of years ago, I was uh, in charge of the girls' uh, and, uh, uh, um, NPL team. I was the, I was the director of coaching for the, the girls there and Fantastic. looked after them for a couple of years, so I'm part of the club, yes. Fantastic. Carlos, you got any more for um, Andy? Yeah, certainly. What are the has, – has the A-League lost the S factor from the old NSL? Because we used to have a lot of players who used to excite us and shoot from long distance. Have we lost the art – of long range shooting in the in the game today, I think I think we've we've lost uh, the place to express themselves. Mm. I think I think coaches have stopped place to actually express themselves, be able to to to, to, to be themselves and, and and to be confident with themselves. I think they're actually being more robotic than anything else nowadays. And that's mm, how we exactly. drew players, and and I, you know, I think players need to ex- do, exp- and, and do and do things they that that they are good at. I think coaches are trying to stop them and trying mm. trying to play some formation, where you know either they're scared of copying the goal or you know, I mean, I mean, look at Ange at Celtic. He mm. he's not scared. He, he'll go and 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 play for up front or whatever. He he likes the attack in soccer, and that's. And I fully agree with him. I think that's how it should be played. Exactly, exactly. Now, what I want to ask you now, Andy, is that uh, right now um, I am wearing a shirt that you wore in 1977. Yes. I'm wearing the replica 1977 yes. Fitzroy United shirt. You're not going to believe this. When I, sh- when I send you the... The replay, you're going to see me wearing it, mate. It is unbelievable. Our spot, I think I well, sent it's the wrong to you. colours for Star well, I Harry. sent that to you the other. I think I sent that to you during the day. You might have seen that shirt, but uh, yeah. I tell you what, Andy, oh, yeah. the quality of these shirts are amazing. Um, and if any, everybody is listening out there right now, these shirts are available at seventy five dollars. These are the limited edition there? heritage edition. And what's going on is everyone out there, please check out our site. All these shirts are available at seventy five dollars. I tell you what. You'll never get this quality again. And Frothy's holding up the Brisbane Lions. Now, you remember Brisbane Lions there, don't you, uh, uh, well, Andy? Of course you did. Can I stop, Harry, can I stop you there for a sec? Yes. Every time we put that shirt on Facebook, every every supporter reckons that that's the best uh, Fitzroy shirt that, that's going around. It is, with the GT Stripe. GT Stripe. Yeah. And, we've, and, we've actually, and we've got that right now. And you should see, you should see the... Uh, the Phillips League badge and the and the Fitzroy United badge, uh, Alexandros Alexander the Great, right on my left hand side there, 
My God, man! No. Uh, and I tell you what, a few people Alexander from fr- a, a few people from uh, well, Heidelberg have bought yeah. some. So fantastic! So guys, they're available online right now. And I tell you what, for seventy five dollars, you know, you can go and buy a Manchester United. You, we want to and, and put it this way: this is a promotion for the clubs, uh, Andy, and you know that for a fact. Uh, our sponsor's yes. not making a lot of money for this, but he's actually promoting the past, the game, and the clubs that are still there. How's and that? Prison. That's right. So that's the thing, Beautiful. Andy. Right. So, Andy, right. we want to thank you for coming on tonight, mate. Can your I time ask has you been one very. More question. One more question. Frothy always does this to uh, me. Now, Andy. <laughs> uh, well, I don't know what's so funny about that, but anyway. Uh, now, Andy, uh, is it fair to say during your playing career. Uh, is it fair to say that George Campbell is, was one of the most exciting players at the time? I, I don't know. I don't like saying this because he gets a big head. <laughs> he's probably but watching. he's the best, the best first year player that that I've seen come to Australia. Amazing. Well, that says a lot, and he's also someone who, uh, like you said, uh, these days there could be players in the A League that have got really, really great dribbling abilities. And they don't let them play the way they play uh, because it's yeah, always yeah. a it's a it's a chess game these days. We've got to work well. Look, it is a team effort. Um, but if someone has got surely that what, what have you got? Fourteen teams in the A League. I mean, oh, can I stop you? Can I stop you there? Yes, yes. go for it. If, you, if you're going to stop Messi from dribbling, he'll be nothing. Exactly. Well, this is what I'm saying. I, I wouldn't be too surprised if we have maybe two or three maybe that have got very good dribbling um, uh, capabilities and, and the coaches, yeah. just like you said, they don't let them be themselves a little bit. Um, and we'll never know that because they play this game like well, we all know. It's back and forward, back and forward, and no one has a shot. You know, they, they try and walk the ball over the line. But uh, there's a lot of lot of uh, areas for improvement, but um, the modern-day coaching doesn't allow that like the old-day coaching. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. That's right. Yeah, That's right. I agree with that. Yeah. Now, Andy, we thank you very much for coming yes. on tonight, and uh, your time pleasure. has been very valuable. We try and bring on the players, the 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 uh, the guys who started it all in 1977, and up to up to right up to the middle of the 80s as well. We've been bringing a lot of people on, but we've also had Kenny Taylor. We've had uh, even your friend there, Gary Cole. We've yes. had George Katsakis on from Heidelberg United. Yes. We've brought a lot of people on. Uh, Peter Blasby's been on as well. Michael so, Theo last well, week. Michael Theo last week. I'm sure Andy would know that yep. from uh, our last week's show. And they Andy, call him Mihaly, apparently. Mihaly, that's right. That's the one, yes. Now, Andy, thank you for joining us. Thanks for, thanks for having me. No, thanks for it's, it's, it's been a pleasure. pleasure. It's, it's been Absolute. a massive pleasure. And, and thank you. Man. Thank you very much. Hope to talk to you again sometime soon. And I did yeah, we'll so. do, Harry. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much, Andy. Now, you Carlos, can you please hold? Can you please yeah, hold there, Carlos? Carlos. No Certainly. Doubt. Now. Can you feel it, Harry? Of course I can feel it. Yes. Andy's amazing. And, mate, he played in uh, championship teams. He coached. He coached And I think he's a South Melbourne boy. He goes on about Fitzroy United. But he does. I, I think his blood is blue and white. Exactly. And I, I just apologise to that team out there. I actually mentioned their name. I know uh, you did. I yeah, know. But I'll just uh, show you the badge back now, there. Now, Carlos, I'm going to have Carlos to ring you. Still. I'm going to ring you back in a moment because we've got to separate the calls. Is that right, Carl? No, yes, we're, we're, certain, we're fine. No, we're fine. We're no, fine. We're now, now Carlos, tomorrow we have a massive game in Japan. Ooh. Well, the boys are eating sushi tonight, and we hope they don't get food poisoning from sushi. Yes, yes. And we want them to – they've gone 11 wins. The Socceroos have gone 11 wins. That is a record. Can they go 12, Carlos? What no. do you think? Simple. No, well, they cannot. Well, says tomorrow's game at Saitama, which will be packed to the rafters yes. with 60,000, 60, 59,000 Japanese supporters and 1,000 expats if you could travel. Yes. This game, it will be a defining moment for Graham Arnold. We did struggle a little bit against Oman. Mm -hmm. We gave the ball away cheaply and then we scored. So this will be a huge game. Japan is currently sitting third. Yes. Having lost two games, somewhat unlucky to lose to Saudi Arabia, but they lost. So they'll have to win. And it'd be interesting how Arnie sets up the boys. I would like to see Mitchell Duke start the game because mm-hmm. I think he's the energizer bunny. Yes. Unless Adam Target did really well because he created a lot of chances. Adam for Target, people to who's run that? Off. Adam Target. Oh, I Adam thought he Target. Target. He's the number nine. That's right. He did really well Place to create team, openings yeah. for other players. So oh, it's a huge game. If we Pick up a point, yes. Then we could 
say we're seventy percent there, mm-hmm. and obviously the other key game will be on the eleventh of November at home to Saudi Arabia. Remember the Matildas are playing Triple in Sydney two. against Brazil, twenty third, twenty sixth of October, uh-huh. with new biosecurity bubble and arrangements. Unbelievable. If that works well with the testing, the quarantining and the bio bubble, there's no reason why the Socceroos could not play against Saudi Arabia at home on the 11th, which would be a massive game exactly. because by then we should have 75% capacity mm-hmm. at Bank West, mm-hmm. which is 34,000. So that brings about 28,000 people packed to the rafters. So. It's a big game for the Socceroos. I think if we defend, we were shaky in defence at times. Yes. Oman show how they could uh, weaknesses in defence. Mm-hmm. So if we played well in defence and uh, Rohit weaves his magic mm-hmm. and Mabil sharpens his accuracy, he was he's a bit all over the place at the moment, but yes. he scores. I think we should be able to win, get a point, if not pinch it at the end. Exactly. Well, the thing is that uh, this will be the big test because I tell you what, uh, they're playing under a a massive crowd and the Japanese aren't people who are very quiet. You know what I'm saying? They're very passionate about their games. I mean, their J-League is just amazing. So you're talking about them all coming together there, the J-League supporters coming together Mm. and their national team. I mean, we haven't had any... Go on. I had the pleasure of going to... Japan twice to watch Socceroos first uh-huh. under Hogorosic. Yes. Where we drew last minute in a where Honda scored in the ninety fourth minute when Lucas Neal gave away a penalty. Ooh. And then I had the pleasure of going for Anches Reign when we lost two zero. Yes. And that was an abysmal game by the Socceroo, but Ench um uh, played the way he played and it just didn't work for him. So yep. Saitama was a place to be there, the passion, the choreography of okay. all the flag waving. It's just, if you ever have the chance to travel away mm-hmm. for a novice soccer match, it is once in a lifetime experience. And Can I have been fortunate to have gone twice to Japan and New Zealand a couple of times. Yes. Can I ask you, the, the, the support, the Japanese, you've been to Japan, you've seen the qualifiers before. What are they like? Are they? Are they? They don't. They are they just so passionate. They're con, con, continuous screaming. Continuous. Is that what's like? There's a continuous noise. It is deafening. I don't know how the referee, how the players could hear the referee's whistle, because from where you stand, it is non-stop, from chanting to car horns to whatever. It is an amazing experience to to witness a game in Japan, especially when the national team plays because it just, like in every country, people unite, the mm-hmm. barrack for the team, yes. and they just transform and they chant. They're very friendly as well. The, you know, they are super friendly and they hug you on, on outside the stadium. But when they're there, they like they have they choreographed. Yes, they rehearse. It's amazing. I it's heard. Great. So, I heard drums as well. They bring drums. They they go like uh, a, as if it's Brazil or Latin America. That sort of style. They copy that style is completely. There, well, you know, I mean, the, the Wanderers, no doubt, were the first one to copy. Yes, what some of the job by bringing the drums. And, yes, and then we have the trumpeteer for the Wellington. We have yes the other drummer for Central Coast. So it is uh, it's something that the Japanese are good at it. And then, obviously, the Wanderers first introduced it mm-hmm. with the RBB, and it was just colour, noise, and everyone followed suit. But we need, we need the players mm-hmm. lift to to the occasion when I'm they hear see. playing in an empty stadium. It is horrible. I miss it. But when, Japan. when you have the, the extra, the extra twelve person, which is fifty five thousand cheering for you. Yes, I never forget the silence. Uh, if you remember. Tommy Orr scores in that 82nd, 83rd minute against the run of play. That goal, if, that goal yeah. was not really meant. <laughs> he actually didn't uh, strike it properly, anyway, remember? So it, it was a fluke. I know. Who cares? 
It's anyway, a goal's so a goal, yeah. I, I'm there with my um, horn. We cut him down the clock, 30, 30, 28, to watch the 90th minute. The yeah. Japanese people either saw are crying oh. because if, if, if they drew, it was direct qualification to um, – uh, to the World Cup. Yes. If they lost, wasn't certain. Yes. So we're counting down the clock, and there's four minutes of extra time, and, and so we get into the 93rd minute, and there's me with my air horn belting oh, it out, God. and we, and then 15, 20, and then penalty. Amazing. Then Honda Honda puts the ball down. There is not you could not hear, a, a, not even a pin drop. Yes. It was just complete silence till he takes a kick. And we thought, Mark Schwarzer has the pedigree. He'd done his homework on Honda. He'll go the right way. And Honda went back of the net and the whole place just exploded yeah, like a... with noise and uh, in joy. So it's an amazing experience amazing. to be part of it. And I would have gone, but obviously we are maroon mm, at home. That's right. That's right. That's right. Carlos, anything for Carlos there, uh, Frothy? Oh, sorry, mate, you woke me up. I'm yes, sorry, yes. Carlos, I fell asleep there. I forgot uh, I should get my, sub- my, my sorry trumpet about that. too. My trumpet soon too. That's why sometimes people often ask Carlos why I wear sunnies in the studio. Yeah. Uh, it's for them not to realise my eyes are closing. Now, now seriously, um, now we can't go into much detail Sunday about this, but uh, there's been some... Uh, there's been some stories in the uh, the one of the Matildas players uh, with accusations oh, no. of uh, all sorts of stuff, um, sexual harassment and what have you. And um, I tell you what, um, it's going to be on for young and old. Now you probably be able to add this, uh, Carlos. Being uh, this is your bread and butter. Uh, now yeah, I think look, it's, um, something's going on there. Look, what I have to say, there's no place in any workplace Absolutely. for such behaviour. That's right. So playing for the national team, working for council or working for whoever, there's no such place for such for tolerate to tolerate such appalling behaviour. Also, what we have, and I think FA has done the right thing by appointing Sport Integrity Australia to investigate and deal with these issues. Absolutely. Now, whatever happens, so it's now, it's up to the players to come forward and name the individuals and provide a pathway. But we also have to remember that 20 years ago when, and there's no excuse for such behaviours to have taken place, but the checks and balances of any team or any employer 20 years ago mm-hmm. is totally different to what we have today. Yes. And the Matildas were in its infancy. They were they were playing at a smaller ground because the crowds were not there. So it'd be interesting to see what evolved from a sport from the from the investigation from SIA mm-hmm. and also who who do we go door knocking twenty uh, people from 20 years ago are still around yes. in some capacity. Most people have moved on. That's right. And But also it's in the Sunday Telegraph, one of the other players came out and supported Devana and when asked, why don't you raise the issue, then she rightly said and said, we wanted to play for Australia. If we raised the issues, then we wouldn't mm. perhaps be selected. So That's this right. is... Uh, this has implication for every game. Remember, hockey is not different. That's Swimming, right. gymnastics. Uh, well, there has, so uh, sport... Carlos, what you just said, swimming, there's investigations in swimming right now, actually, yes, as we talk. Yes. Right now, That's they're right. into it. That's right. That's right. So every sport has its dark secrets. So hopefully the players, uh, like Devana and everyone else, approach SIA That's right. with concrete evidence and then we have to make sure that every player, male or female at a young age, is safe from such per, such behaviour because no parent wants to have a child that is exposed to that behaviour. But this behaviour happens at school as well, mm. Harry. Yes, it does. Bullying. Yes, it does. Oh, so I know that. This is, this is not an issue that it's 
only sport. It happens in primary school, secondary. So it's a bigger exactly. issue. It's everywhere. But obviously, when we have players who kept it undercover for 20 years because of being afraid, and also there's a psychological side to it, I believe, that we should also be providing the su- support, if required by the players, yes. to overcome the traumas and the hurt that they endured if that behaviour is proven to be to have taken place. It's horrible. It is what very we, horrible. The, the allegation we heard, and no individual deserved to be... Um, to be put through such, exactly. uh, you know, behaviour. Carlos, we're going to let you go there because we've got Mr. MPL coming on very shortly. Yes. And yes. Uh, there is more to this story and there's more oh, to come oh, out oh, of oh. this. And I, one more thing I'll say. Yes. I'll just mention the name Alan Stadich. That's as far as I'll go from there. Yes. And so that no will more. come out too. Now, Carlos, next week, you'll come in with us next week. We've got a massive guest next week. We've got... Yes. You know who that is, don't Can you? Can I give him a clue? Please. Now, he's six foot nine and he plays oh, for South I'm, Melbourne. <laughs> Stephanie Brands is on next week, Carlos. Will you come and join us with Stephanie next week? You said Peanut Salakas next week. week. Absolutely. Sorry about that. Thank you for having me. Carlos, we'll talk to you next week. Thank you for joining us, guys. Carlos from uh, from, uh, Planet Football. Thank Thank you. you. Thank you, Carlos. Thank you for joining us tonight, guys. Now, he is unbelievable. Some of the stuff he, he can say, absolutely he is well-spoken as a solicitor and he's also our sponsor, by the way. Now, we're going to mention our sponsors before we get Mr. MPL on. Well, Arrow Sport, Arrow, Arrow Sport. Uh, Arrow there was only Sport. one football. Uh, yep. Uh, City Lawyers, City City Carlos. Lawyers. And what about our good friends at... Okay, well, uh, did you press the button there? I <laughs> pressed uh, the button that uh, one. Uh, but anyway, now, so who we got on now? we got Mr. MPL coming oh, on. We're going to talk about a little bit... Things a little bit a little bit about Ange. I think Ange is feeling the oh, heat at the moment. So, well. Mr. MPL, you know, we've got to get him on because we've got a few things and, talking about. And oh, the NPL also, could be starting after the... after yes. the, uh, In January, very early. And there is strong rumours going around. A yes. rival soccer show is about to start to, oh, rival, really? to rival this show. Oh, well, they can do what they like. Now, it's I a will hard be show to run. putting the question to Mr. MPL and just to see if there's any truth behind it. Because uh, who cares? He knows something. Thing. Uh, I don't really care. Well, nor do I, but let's see if this he's is got any call, information got to, for we're us. We're going to have to call him twice again, is that right? Apparently three times now. I three times? To, I spoke to him today. Three times. So st- hang up now. You're going to have to call. He won't pick I it up I don't believe this guy. He's always no. doing this to us, guys. Maybe hang because up. it's something to do with this uh, Japanese uh, phone, uh, phone, whatever they are. I don't know what he's got over there. His sister's coming on for a sec. His sister's coming on, man. Is his sister the there? You have now we've got to call him again. This crap again, Please mate. What a bloody message. joke, mate. Jiggy, Here we jiggy, go jiggy, again, jiggy, guys. This guy's right, man. Where are you, Mr. PL, for God's sakes? Gavin, we need you right now, mate. Hello. Mr. Hello. Gavin, are you there? Is that Mr. MPL? Hey. 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 Finally got you, Gavin. Wow. Gavin, Gavin. What's happening, boys? Gavin, we, oh. are, we, are, we want another story. Uh, he's, he's, sending, he's sending us crazy for Hello. tonight. Who's that? Was oh, that? that was Emily. How Emily. are you, Emily? How are you going there? Uh, now. Emily, now. Harry and Proffy say hello. How are you, girl? How are you, young lady? How are you, young lady? Emily. Hello. hello. How are you going? Well, she sounds like a singer. Uh, Fantastic. Hey, Gab, can I just say this? <laughs> can I say this? Emily is a future Matilda. That's right. Yeah. I, I heard. Future yes. Matilda. Yes. Future Australia future player Matilda. for the Wimbledon. That's right. And now, right. Yeah. yeah. Sort of. I'm not sure. Now, Maybe, I don't know. Very well spoken. The only thing I usually play is Roblox on my iPad, so. Really? Oh, I see what you mean. My God. Uh, Fantastic. On the iPad, mate. Fantastic. This is what happens if kids are locked down, mate. You get stuck on iPad all the time. Yes. But this game is crazy. Good. Now, Gavin, now, Gavin. How are we? We're all, we're all mad as hell, as crazy as well, ever. Yeah. And, I've got uh, a good question for Gavin. Can I run my question by Harry? Please, let's go please on, you can. Please. Okay, now, Gavin, uh, there's yes, been uh, rumours and... Uh, rumours, yeah, I heard you saying this before, but I don't know where you what, get this from, but anyway. What, where's this well, coming from, Gavin? Uh, speculation, is that another word we're looking it's for? It's coming from North Melbourne, I bet you. Uh, <laughs> now, yeah. there is a rival show that's going okay. to uh, give this show a shake. Uh, and we, we, it's come out of uh, your great team. I have information today. Uh, okay. Do you know anything about it, Gav? No, mate, first I've heard of it when you started talking about it. Gavin, what are you talking he about? Must, must some, he, he, must on, he must be on some kind of mushroom stuff. I don't know what it well, is. Well, apparently it's come out from the South Melbourne uh, Clarendon oh, Corner Jesus, crew. Jesus, that's fantastic. Yeah, okay. And, um, I've got the names <laughs> of these people who are going to start a rival show. 
Okay. But I, I can't say it for legal reasons. I know. I can't know. Give out, can't give out too much. Can't give out too much. Can't give out too much. Uh, yeah. But we'll, well, we'll, we'll, we'll get that eventually. Eh? Gavin, just watch, watch Facebook. Mate. That's right. Now, watch Facebook. Now, exactly. Now, right. now, Gavin, did you see uh, yes. the interview with? Uh, you heard the interview with uh, Andy Bazika. Andy Bazika. South, South, yeah, South, South, yeah. South Melbourne boy went over to bloody Fitzroy United because of the uh, yes. controversy of. Uh, you know who? Yes, yes. Yeah, well, you know, like a bit before my time, um, yes. you know, as you know, like was, yeah, I, that's uh, my time, actually. On Australian football, you know, 1990. Yes. So, you know, 77 and, you know, like early 80s and that, bit before my time. But, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah no, it was a good interview. Like, um, it was good. Like, enjoyed the part about, oh, the story about when the Cosmos, New York yes, Cosmos, come out I can't believe it. Played Victoria at the mm. Olympic Park in front of like, you know, 20,000. You know what I mean? Unbelievable. Like, the good old days of the, the state games, you know what I mean? Like, That's oh, great. Right. I love, I love, I love it when Victoria play, like yeah. footy or or football, didn't matter, even cricket, you know what I yes, mean? I love, yes, yes, I wish we'd go back, I wish we could have Victoria playing again, it'd be good, mate. Now, and now, now, as we call you, Mr. MPL, you've had, you've still, we don't, we, from what I found out about New South Wales, is that they're starting uh, in the next yep. few days, training is starting. And I yeah, found, well, and, and, yep. and what I found out was too, apparently, they can actually start training in, in groups of twenty. I can't believe this. I can't okay, believe yeah. it. We different don't even rules up there, like, different um, rules up there. Um, but um, in good news, um, looks like um, our game against Melbourne City is going ahead because we've restarted training. Yes, we've been given permission by the Victorian government to restart training the as in the four Victorian clubs representing in the FFA yeah, Cup because yeah. they class it as a national competition. <laughs> Competition Victorian at like government, a professional yeah. level, so the Victorian government give uh, us and the other three. Yeah. Start <laughs> we started training last week, which is fantastic. So, so they've actually done something right finally, have they? Jesus. Yeah. So, look, if we can get four or five weeks under our belt of training and lead into this game, that's all we can ask for in what's been happening in well, the last three months. You know well, what I mean? Well, like, yeah. So that's what. What's the date of the game again? Do you know that date? We've no, we've got no date, Harry. Oh, we've got Jesus. no time. Still. All they, all we know is it, it's possibly going ahead, and we've started training um, in preparation for the game. That's it. So basically, maybe it's the same sort of uh, situation where they're doing blocks of uh, groups of twenty in, in in New South Wales for their clubs. Correct. And they didn't get sure the club didn't go into details about yeah. what, what what how we're doing it and how we're training and stuff. Yeah. They just said the players are back in training, and um, we're preparing for possibly something in the future, possibly this Melbourne City game in the future. Okay. Not sure the date or time. So we're probably talking about during the uh, – the, the be some kind of, – it'll be after October some kind. Some I reckon after November. That. Yeah, I, I, November. I, I think when it will be go back to school, When kids go back to school full time, when um, restriction, when, when the restrictions get eased, when everyone's double-dosed, that's when I think yeah, yeah. it'll happen. And that could be November, mid-November, something like that. That's okay. Well, you know what I mean. Like in, that's fine. Yeah, in in, in Queensland they've been playing the FFA Cup. How's that? They've been, they've been doing it up there, yeah, which South is good. Yeah, Australia and Western Australia that's too. That's right. Yeah, so we, we've been left behind. We're so behind the times in New South Wales and Victoria. We need to catch Thank up, Canberra. and we bloody will need to open up. How's that? On the twenty sixth, yeah. we open up again, and then on the fifth, everything else opens up again. And the week well, after that, there's no twenty five kilometres. I heard. So let's just they, see what happens. They made the draw for the round of sixteen already. Yeah, because they've played all the games they can for the round of 32. Yep. Because the games they can't play are clubs from, you know, Victoria, New yes, South Wales, right. Canberra, Northern New South Wales, you know what I mean? Like you can't can't train, can't yep. travel, can't play, can't do nothing. We're just stuck it's as ridic- we are. It's ridiculous. So um, that's why I'm hoping, you know, like it's it's like, you know, looking good, looking good for a possible um, – at worst case scenario in my mind, the game will go ahead. Um, yeah. Uh, will be played behind closed doors, but it'll be on TV for everybody uh, so, to watch. So no so one can that, actually... There'll be something. There'll be something no, better no, than Nobody can go to the game yet. I mean, hang well, on. I'm hang just on. saying, uh, worst case scenario, the, 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 biggest... the game will be played. It'll be played behind closed doors, Gee. and it'll give us an opportunity to finish off the season in a kind of proper way in some ways. Yes, I don't know, yes. down... I know, that, I know that sounds silly because well, the season ain't going to the, the league season ain't going to finish. It's going to be no champions. It's going to be no relegation. No, but be at there. least South, my club, will be able to finish. As in, we are able to play a game, and we'll we'll be able to play against the top opposition, Australian champions at yes, home. Yes, yes. And on TV, so it's 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 a good way to finish off. It a, is. 
Gavin, Gavin, before you, you before we start talking again about that, now I heard that the Melbourne Cup are actually going to have ten thousand people. Now yep. if they're going to have ten thousand people the first week of uh, the first Tuesday in November. I mean, what difference does it make if they have two or three thousand people or five thousand? Oh, that's right, that's the thing. If you're going to if you're going to go and have ten thousand at the Melbourne Cup, you can't have people at the game. I mean, that's that's like double standards if they do that. You know, great. See you totally later. Great, and that government, I wouldn't trust that government. They could pull it out at any time again. You know that for a fact. So, like our ground holds maybe fifteen thousand. Yes, yes. <laughs> so if you go on um, uh, one third full, that's yep. five thousand people. Yeah, I get you. But uh, remember, right this across a fifteen thousand seat stadium. You know and, what I mean? Yeah, like, and and they will separate the crowd. You know, they have to. They do separate the crowd. You know, don't you? So if you put a few years ago when they played Sydney. Sydney, was it uh, Sydney FC? Yeah, Sydney, Sydney FC. FC. They, they put them yeah. on the other side of the ground. Up the when we played the victory um, right. in, the, in the NPL, I up the side of the ground. That's right. Grand fi- the grand finals, the two grand the th- two grand finals were played and the Doherty Cup final were played at Lakeside. They've opened up the other side of the ground. That's right. Um, and, I, and I think they, they do that for sure against Melbourne City, no doubt. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. But it's just a matter of what happens, mate. You know, I'm, 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 I'm confident now the game's going ahead. It's yeah. just a matter of what when. the conditions are yes. for people going around the game. That's right. So, Frothy, you got something for Gavin? Uh, yes. Uh, nice top. Yes. I like your Footscray, your Footscray Just top, mate. Very Footscray nice. Yeah, it's yes, very good, isn't it? May I add, obviously, you weren't even born then, I suppose. Uh, mate, i got a story about Footscray Just, mate. I never went to any of the games. Yes. I never, I've never. seen them play on TV a couple of times. Yes. The old ABC yes. days, SBS, you yes. know what I mean? Yes, like, yes. Before they went out of business. Uh, my mum worked around the corner from the ground. Oh. So I used to drive past there all the time and see it. And, um, yes. And say, oh, yeah, that, that's, that's Footscray just, that's, that's Footscray just the, the Yugoslavians, mate. Yes. The Yugoslavians. <laughs> you can't say that no more. It's a swear word <laughs> now. Mate. You, no, don't don't mention that. The Yugoslavians. Too, do, don't, swear, don't say that too now, much, that word. The mate I had for my across-the-road neighbour... Uh, Daniel Pol, 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 I can't say his surname. Polanski. Uh, no, P- Polovsky, I think his name is. Uh, we once had a, a chat about that, and he said to me, <laughs> the word <laughs> Yugoslavia means unite all Slavs. And he said, I don't know why we got separated. Now, enough of the politics. Now, Gavin, uh, and yes, I know Gavin. you're excited. We spoke about this. You know the number two ticket holder at Melbourne Victory? He's coming number on two the ticket show. Holder. Yes, he's Who's coming that? on the yep. show next week. Okay, who's uh, that? Oh, well, Jesus. Harry doesn't know this. Uh, yep. He's going to ring in. Because people uh, often ask who this uh, uh, person Claude is. And now I've got a photo of Claude. I'm going to put him close to the camera so oh, we no. know. So next week when everyone's listening in, they can put a they can put a picture to the sound. So this is our good friend Claude, number two supporter of Melbourne oh, Victory. Jesus. Now, I'm not saying they all look like this, but here he yeah, is here. Right, mate. I'm watching now. Yeah, it's coming up. It's about to come up now. <laughs> yeah. Here he is there. That's it's just cool, a... Mate. It, that's our good friend Claude there. So uh, uh, we we have him on next oh, week. Oh Jesus, mate! Oh, oh, mate. <laughs> yeah. Claude, yeah. Oh, mate. Yes, and, uh, oh, mate. Now the rumor oh, is Jesus. also uh, Claude might be a, a special guest on a, uh, the new soccer show, which is going to rival this one. Uh, oh, right, okay. yeah, the, the, the supposed uh, Clarendon Corner South. I show you. Show. It sounds like it sounds, it sounds <laughs> like I've never heard of mine. It sounds like a Clayton show. A show you have when you don't have a show. How's that? Well, I will tell you what. <laughs> Well, Harry, that's a good thing because what's happening is we are doing a show. It's successful. We have sponsors. Yes, we do. We parade the old shirts. Yes, we, we do. have some knowledge, don't we, Gav? About oh, we have the a show. lot of knowledge about the show. So yes, what yes. that's doing, that's getting but people Gavin, all excited. Yeah, we to need to start finish, the, boys. We're running out of data right now. So that is, going. So it is going. That yeah. is it's it's going to cut off. Off. It will cut off. Before actually. we go, Harry, I just want to mention tomorrow oh, night, mate. Enough. Can't wait for tomorrow night. What's yes. tomorrow night? Pumped. Australia, Japan from these, mate. We're going to win, mate. We're going to make a 12 in a row. You know what? You know what? And guess who's in Japan to look after bloody Benedict Arnold? Guess who's going to be seeing him? There's my tip. The butcher of the the butcher of Victoria. Oh, Kev, mate. Kevy boy, Kev, Kev mate. Is gonna be, yeah. he's going to be Kevy, spitting, mate. He's going to be spitting on the ground there I'm in front of bloody... I'm going to hold that up just to show him that's my prediction. Japan won Socceroos nil. Uh, that's my prediction. Oh, please, Kev. please. Uh, Come on, uh, Proppies. We're, we're over your predictions, mate. Uh, they're just dead and buried, mate. That's right, Seriously. mate. Well, yeah. uh, so far off the mark, it's not funny, mate. Exactly. Right, well, uh, let's go through this. Just a couple of seconds. Ch- has China? Uh, have the Socceroos played China, Harry, yet? No, they're not even the bloody group. Yeah, what are you talking about? They're the bloody group. 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 They're the bloody group
But I'll tell you what, um, Soccer Roots Vietnam, I predicted 5 0 that that was a, a terrible. Uh, let's, look, let's face it, Gab. The Soccer Roots only won because they had uh, a toddler opposition. Um, they were shocking that game, weren't they? Okay. Well, we didn't do too bad against Oman. I thought that we played okay. It was, you know, oh, we, we, well, we, we, yeah. we're scoring mm. goals. Martin Ball, mate, uh, Amo Mobile, uh, Mitch Duke, you know what I mean? Like, we, we scored, mm. we're finding goal scores, and that was our biggest problem. That was my That's biggest worry week. leading into this World Cup qualifying ca- qualification, us scoring goals, finding people who are going to put the ball in the back of the net. We're doing that, and that's great. So let's see how we okay, go against boys. a top-quality Japan side tomorrow night. And, and like Carla said, in a magnificent atmosphere, oh, it's going yes. to be so good to see the ground Finally, pack, pack. chanting, uh, everyone, you know, like, falling out the sphere. It's going to be unbelievable, mate. Can't wait. And All right, Gavin, thank you for joining us tonight. Do you think no, the okay. Socceroos are overrated, Gav? No, here we go. No, I think we're, I think we're, we're, we are. We we're, may come out uh, that they're world beaters, but who are they beating, Gav? Now, come on, seriously. No, we're not oh, world come beaters, on, mate. But we're, we're, ex- <laughs> we're, we are. Uh, achieving, ex- achieving. We're achieving so much. That's, we right. Beaters, we that's what we are. That's right. We are winning. Gavin, we'll matters. talk to you next week again. We'll talk yes, about the and, game, uh, of course. Uh, the, yeah, so yeah. Dissect yeah, the game. Do a report. Definitely. Report the game, mate. Well, maybe exactly. you can give us more about information it, about All right, boys. Show thank you much. Up, Gav. Now, next Great week. Talking to you guys. Thank you, Gavin. Soon, thank right. you. Now, next week, guys. Who we've we got? got our show next week with Stephanie Brands. Well, We're looking forward to Stephanie Brands next Stephanie week. She's one of our favourite, uh, one word. of our favourite hosts to come on the show as a visitor. So, guys, thank you for joining us. Here we go, guys. Check it out right now. You know what? I actually might send Here we go. to Stephanie Brands. I'm going to give her the original Queensland Special request Raw, tonight. The Queensland Raw scarf. Thanks for joining Stephanie us, guys, Brands. tonight. Football yeah, Lessons Live tonight. Here's something called She Bangs. She Bangs. Oh, that's my favourite song. Oh, my God. Now, we're in trouble now, mate. You know what? You should Shaving call guys Carlos. Next week, so he can Stephanie Brands at 7 p.m. next he week. Can call Randy that's right. Huh, check it out. He can huh. sing along with us, too. It may be Stephanie Brands. Talk to, to me, me. tell me your name. name. And you blow me up, call it all the same. The same. You lit the fuse and now you're chicken away like a bomb. Yeah, baby. She bangs. Talk to me, I can't hear the music. give me a sign. You're switching sides like a German now. Hello, check. You're playing games and now you're hitting my heart like a drum. Maybe my mind's yeah, baby. My well, if it's now lady, it. let me. Get you on my mind, we're gonna rock this. Don't forget, guys, next week, football is live again. Loud. Monday night, 7 loud. p.m. Yeah, See you there, guys. Show. 7 p.m. 7 p.m. with Stephanie Brands. Next Monday and night Gab at 7 p.m. Good night. Thank you, guys. Thank you for joining us. Hi guys, Harry Sunday here, letting you know that there's a apparel company that supports the game that you love. It's called There Is Only One Football.com. Guys, they've got all sorts of stuff from caps, t shirts, water bottles, all sorts of accessories, even for your mobile phone. All that sporting stuff you can wear anywhere you want to wear it, guys. That's right. And don't forget the website it's on There Is Only One Football.com. There is only one football!